my circuit now with the uh, the NICAD there and the multimeter directly across it. So we are getting 1.201 volts off it at the moment. And if I, if I hook the circuit up there, and you can see that's uh, shining nice and brightly. And uh, we've immediately started charging up to 1.341. So I'm just going to hit start on this. And just wait for a while. And we're still getting uh, a very bright light there as well as we're uh, charging the other battery up. So I'm just going to leave this to run for a while. And it's the light's still nice and bright and we've got 1.366 volts across it and I've been noticing that uh, roughly every 30 seconds it's been going up or it's gone up again then so I'm just going to leave it for another uh, 5 or 10 minutes until that uh, noticeably becomes dimmer right we're coming up to uh, 15 minutes now and it's sort of plateaued at 1.373 and it stayed around there for the last two or three minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the battery. It's still quite nice and bright that is. So if I disconnect that. And let's have a look. Let's see what the voltage is. That's going to come down just a little bit. Even if it comes down to 1.35, we've still uh, gained 0.12 of a volt. So what I'm going to do now is uh, power the circuit up with this and see how long it lasts. I'll do that now. Start this test now by switching it on and starting the clock. You can see that's nice and bright. Uh, just need to see if it lasts the same amount of time that it took to charge. I'll come back to this in a minute. After uh, two and a half minutes, you can see that it's noticeably dimmer than it was. So I'm going to check back in again at five minutes. Checking back in again on five minutes, you can see that it's much dimmer now. But we did discharge the uh, NICAD to start with down to uh, a point where it wouldn't even light this. So I'm going to take that back down to that same amount. So I'm going to look back in again on this uh, when it starts to get to that point. Got to uh, halfway through the test now. And you can still see it's shining blue. That's great. I'm going to uh, leave it a little bit longer to see how, uh, how much time it takes to actually get down to uh, almost off. Reaching uh, 10 minutes to the test, which is uh, two thirds into it. Uh, if you can see, it's still glowing blue. So we'll carry on with it for a bit longer. to 11 minutes into the test now. Uh, let's see if it's still glowing enough. Still glowing. A little bit more than it was to start with. I think if we, uh, if we end the test there, at 11.18, Check the voltage that's left on here, and then do it all again. Let's wait for it to level out a bit. Got 
thing it'll level out back at uh, 1.2 again I'm going to leave it uh, a couple of minutes to level out and come back to it. I find interesting, I've hooked the uh, button cell back up again and uh, we're getting no visible light there at the moment. But if we complete the circuit, we're getting a uh, nice full powered LED. But if I uh, just hold the connections in my hand, I don't know if you can see there, but uh, it's actually making a connection just over my skin. I think this might be because of the uh, the high frequency of which the uh, little transformer is oscillating. That's great, then. Eh?